These are old uh, laminate flooring, which is um, compressed bamboo. And what my plan is on this is I'm going to use this main panel. I'm going to cut my holes out for the switches and my voltmeters and cut at the shape once I've done that. Cut a piece off there to join onto that and glue. And then we're going to get a piece of aluminium plate that I've got around here. Use that as a backing with the screw points, yeah? So it goes into the fiberglass panel. And then once I've got all of that achieved, we'll sand this right back to bare wood where you'll see a complete change in texture. And then we'll varnish it all up. Once that's all varnished and it's nice and dry, we'll take it into the truck and we'll screw the panels on and we'll start connecting all the wiring up. I'm not going to do a sequence um, of events on this one. This video is pure and simply just an update on how things are going. I had two attempts at this panel. The varnish on the second attempt didn't come out as great. But, switches are in. There you go. The gauges are in. I ended up using three in the end. I'm just waiting for three switches to come through the post. And I've also got 200 amp times three switches coming, which will go under here and there to shut off each individual battery. Uh, they'll all be linked to the one power line going in, but they are where I can flip between each battery. I was going to wire them all at once, but there's a lot of flipping amps buzzing through that lot if you get uh, a wire issue. Plus, on the roof up there, on solar panels. So we've still got a lot more stuff to wire in as yet. I mean, we're not even, not even halfway there at the moment. We've got the stereo to put in. We've got a light switch to go over there where the orange wire is. Uh, I've added some, some extra lights, but we've still got more lights to add. We've got a LED run down the bottom. So uh, yeah, this is what we've done. I'll pull the plug. There you go, we're in total darkness. There's my panel. One. Two, two, we've got a yellow to put over that side. Three, <laughs> I like that. And that's the yellow strip we've got to put in down there. We've even found the power lines for the back. So they're waiting for lights. That leaves me with two empty to play around with. So that one is probably gonna be that one with a secondary switch in there maybe. And that one, might be power on for over there in the bed space because I haven't got anything else that I can think of lighting wise that's going to require that switch. Um, no, I'm not seeing that. So uh, that's how you do it for the outside light. That's the point. I could do it for the outside light. There is a light that I want to put just above the door there, probably on that aluminium plate, if you, which you can't see because it's too dark. Um, that looked good, didn't it? I know, tart, whatever. <laughs> wife came to the van, oh, I can't see, and I flicked that switch on. She saw, I said, she, she said I made a jump. She wasn't expecting it. And that was a last minute thought. My mate reckon it looked like a nightclub. Well, I'll have to look like a nightclub. I like it. So we've got one more put in round there. Um, and then when we build the bathroom space, there'll be another yellow, so I'll have to order some more. Another yellow to go across that one as well. So the whole floor will glow up yellow where I can get it to go. But we don't want too much of this, because they are rather bright. It has to be said. Right, so that's wired in. Don't like the bolt, got to sort that out. Got to seal up the hole for the wire, as yet. But... That's now on, and I've used a small LED wire, and that's quite a bright little light. I'm quite pleased with that. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is get some more of those. That was given to me by Matt up the road. I checked the price of that, it was about £8, brand new off eBay. But I've seen them on Wish for less money, um, but they've jacked the postage up, which makes it uneconomical. So I might go back on eBay and get a whole load of them. Four for each side. Um, 
that come on on one switch so two there sorry four for each side i meant two for each side so two in each corner two up in that corner somewhere maybe on that little shelf area there and uh, another two more one in that corner there one up that corner and maybe some at the front have them all on one switch as a nighttime security now I checked the battery charger, I've got an intelligent battery charger that displays the amps and according to that charger that light doesn't even push one amp which surprised me in fact it wouldn't show up any voltage which is usually has to have an amp minimum to shine um, to display that it's using the current so I think that is a good investment for this van I reckon all of them on at once would be about an amp. It would just start to show up on the meter. Anyway, I've glued all this lot down, <coughs> as you can see. Now we've got to figure out day, some sort of hinging system. We want to be able to turn that backrest, that angle, to access the hole that's got to be made. So I reckon there's going to be a piece of ply because we've got to get a piece of ply under here for the headrest bit so I reckon I'll put a piece of ply over that lot there and have it stick out about two inches with the hinges riveted on top and bottom and uh, that should move that across enough to be able to then access this but I haven't figured out yet how this one's going to go because it's jammed in under there you can't lift it with that turned if I slide it it's going to be annoying I mean, I could put sliders on, but that's going to be really annoying. Um, I don't really want to slide it that way because getting out from under there, you do catch that bolster and uh, it might pull it and trip over and bend everything up. So, and they do need to be secure because they move when you sit on them. So that one I haven't figured out yet. That one I have. I may just run two simple bolts on another wooden panel because it needs covering. So I might actually just put a piece of wood over that with two bolts sticking out and two holes drilled in the woodwork so it clips in and can't move. <coughs> Either the front or the back, I haven't really made my mind up. I mean, the back half of that um, backrest holds that down so it wouldn't be a bad idea to stick them at the front and then that will slide across. That's got to come right out to here to make it comfortable they are rock hard seats though they're not the best in the world but they were free guy was clearing his um, container out and he bought those for a trike build that I was meant to be doing but they never got used um, poor bugger had a stroke so and then a heart attack after so he cleared that container out because he used to do removals and I ended up with them free of charge and you'll find that in this truck there is a lot of recycling going on but obviously I haven't been able to recycle everything. I've had to buy quite a lot of stuff brand new. And with this, this video, or this van, this van build is just um, up to level. Pick these up, there's two of them here. There's another one underneath. Um, about 40 volts is what they put out, 250 watts each. So, that's going to be another video on its own i think we've got to figure out how we're going to mount these onto the vehicle i haven't quite figured it all out yet and how i'm going to work the controllers and so forth they're not very heavy tested them before i bought them um 65 pound each second hand a couple of year old apparently Pretty pleased with them. Good morning, Sunday. A new day. Right. My control panels. You saw the solar panels yesterday. Well, dilemma time because I don't really know what to do. I've got. Hang on, let's go back to the panel. We've got three gauges. One, two, three. Three separate on-off switches and three batteries, but only two solar panels. Um, we've got three isolated switches that are going to go up here somewhere. 
I've already made the fiberglass case. I've actually copied um, a stereo case, you know, one of the universal ones. Just waiting for the glass fiber to go off. It's so cold that it just wouldn't cure properly overnight. So it's now sitting in a bag on a radiator. I'm hoping that that will kick it into gear. Uh, so we've got. So here's here's the here's what I don't know what to do because I don't know enough about solar panels at the moment. We've got three batteries. We've got one under there in the cupboard. We've got another one there that's going in this cupboard, and under the lorry there is another HGV um, type battery carrier that I welded in onto the chassis, literally. Uh, that's capable of carrying two lorry batteries, but I've got a big monster um battery given to me in the yard so i was gonna put that on so that gives me three batteries to play with but two solar panels i at the time didn't think that three solar panels would fit up on the roof above and i'm still looking at this gap thinking the same thing i, I just don't think it would work so here's my problem three gauges Two of them can go to the leisure batteries because these two batteries are going to get wired together. That one down there, that's a leisure battery, a proper one. And that one in the cupboard is a leisure battery. So I was going to wire those two um, together so they become one monster battery. Then I was going to have that lorry one individually left. So it would be gauge one on the two batteries, gauge two on the second battery. But then it leaves me with an empty gauge. Now, I thought, well, maybe I can still use that. Because originally I was going to have three separate batteries with three solar panels. One solar panel per battery. I was literally going to wire three controllers in. And they were going to individually and independently charge up each individual battery. Purpose being, while I'm using one power, the other two can be charging up during the day. So I've always got power. I know what I have. I know what I can use during the day, what I cannot use during the day. I didn't want to wire all batteries together as one, have all solar panels wired together as one with one individual controller. Didn't want to do that. Uh, there's several reasons behind it. It's more expensive, to be honest, because the controllers to control 250 watts at 40 something volts each, it's very expensive. It's actually cheaper to wire them. This is what I've discovered. It's cheaper to wire them on individual controllers because the, the smaller controllers are a lot lot cheaper to buy um, in fact I can probably get three controllers uh, for half the price of a mega controller to, to, to run two of the panels now I could put a third panel on this roof but it's so high up the chances are it's gonna clang something when I'm driving along which I don't want to do I, do, I just don't want it up there I thought about this hard and I don't want anything on that roof because I'm thinking about skylights somewhere in here there's a wood burner going in it was going to go in over there but the panels on that roof have now scuppered the plans and that room is so small anyway that will heat up like so much so now I'm thinking about having a wood burner in here but that's another story for another day I might have to wire that one now to the 24 volt system that powers the lorry itself that wouldn't be a bad thing because of the slide outs are powered by that particular power um, I've got a very very low wattage um, solar panel and controller that I can feed onto those 24 volt batteries anyway it will trickle charge it's only about five watts it's nothing potent but during the day once I've slid out and uh, we're camped up and we're not going anywhere for the week hopefully then that charger up there will keep those topped up and anything else that the engine is running off you know that the system is using with the ignition turned off but that's me plan anyway um there'll be a spare isolator so there's gonna be two isolators now two chargers with two controllers one there one there i'm going to put two Kirk caddies stereo caddies under here so one of them will be for the the battery uh isolators the other one will be for the stereo i've got to put a board across underneath which i'll cover in um, polyvinyl and the uh, boxes will get covered as well um, two controllers can go at the back i might bring them forward slightly i might even put a complete board across here just to hide it all with a slope and then put one each side i don't know yet we'll see how that all pans together so that's my dilemma that's what i've got to wire in the controllers sorry the um isolators have not turned up yet i'm still waiting for them courier service is very slow um 
so there's nothing more I can do at the moment but there isn't enough footage at this point to load up I did say about doing the seats but it's very cold I'm getting low on diesel and my batteries need charging anyway so with that I'm gonna hang up for the moment <laughs>